Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we're going to be doing a bit of a yard tour. So join me and little Sam and Eric as we go through the yard, kind of. So Eric can tell us more of the history of the place because um, that's where it comes from. Eric's granny originally owned this and when she passed away, it fell on top of this man's shoulders. So um, I'm just here for the ride now. <laughs> start with this shed here. This is um, where we store our hay. As you can see, it needs a lot of work. But I don't know, what would that have originally been used for, Eric? Keeping cattle in it. So there would have been cubicles cattle. Cubicles in it. Yeah, see there's cubicles in, you can probably see them. We have them kind of fenced off. There's cubicles in at the back of it, so there would have been cattle in it years ago. There hasn't been cattle in it in a long time. But, um, yeah. what? Dairy cows. Dairy cows. Do you know? And there's this lovely wall here behind me, what I love. So there was obviously some kind of, um, I don't know, fire or something that was originally meant to be in that, I'd imagine. Although there's no smoke marks, so who knows. And we kind of just use this now for holding the sawdust for the, shave, or for the stables. And the winter hay that Eric made as well. Because he'll kill me if I don't say that he made it, you know, men. The only shed that's kind of um, half done. This, we did this, I'm going to put in actually a clip of what this looked like before. We have four 12 by 12 stables in it. It's open at the back, but there is a, what do you call that? Windbreaker. Windbreaker. Has to be too. Has to be stitched down, as Eric calls it. Um, stitched means hammered in. Anyway, there's Eric. He put down the floor, and what else did you do in here? Um, well, me, uh, me and mine did the blocking. We got a little bit of plaster. Her father, your father. My made daddy. Made all the doors. Frames. Well, he did make the doors. He oh, made the, doors. the frames. So, as you can see, there's frames up there on a track. The doors are secondhand, what we got off Anna Harvey Farm. Kindly donated. I will take any donations if anyone has any donations of anything farm equipment wise, stable door, anything like that. Yay. Please send them. And we just put the hay in barrows and we have the water in them. The reason why I probably won't put in automatic drinkers is because you can't actually tell what they're drinking in a day. So I like to know. I know it means more work than that, but I do like to know what they're drinking in a day. If you have automatic drinkers, you don't know if they're drinking at all. So yeah, it's just benefiting that way. The only thing is with this shed is, I'll show you how narrow the little entranceway is. It is quite narrow. So eventually we'll probably move this out that way a bit so we have a longer space because the foal isn't too sure about coming in here just because it's quite dark and it's open-ended each end. So we need to put a door on it. We need to do the roof on it again because Lord Jesus, when the storm comes, it rattles the shite out of it. But um, yeah. That is, that's a silage pit behind us. That is the stables. Heap. Sorry, it's a dung heap, I've been informed. Go on, tell us, Mr. Farmer, what is it? <laughs> it's dung heap. I don't know, what's a silage pit then? Silage pit is beside it. Okay, we'll look at the silage pit. That's actually what I had in the shot. That's the silage pit, as we well know. That's the dung heap. Now, just so we're all squared up and we all know what's what. You are met with the rest of the yard. So there is, um, I don't know, what do you call that? Workshop. That's a workhouse shop. Workshop? Fixed machinery in it. Fixed machinery in it. All, um, there's no machinery in it. There's a lot of junk and furniture and, I don't know, other stuff in it. But that needs to be cleaned out. And I think the whole reason for, or the idea for that is raising the roof. The roof is literally held up by trees in there. And what else do you want to do with that? Put the door over. Bring the door over so you can go into it with machinery and bigger machinery because you can fit nothing really into it there is a pit in it so you can do cars and that in it but it's not really horsey so nobody really cares about it anyway we have another barn here that is just open both ends we'll probably use that in the hay barn really and then look at the shit show that is that other shed cat is up on the roof of the tractor he actually is anyway this um I, we haven't really got um, purpose for this yet, but we do need to pull it all down, so it makes it a little bit safer. Or stable. Yes, <laughs> we could pack it with stable. Because there is a um, bit of a, a hardcore kind of surface here, so that would be... Put in a concrete floor. <laughs> yeah, concrete floor, and then... Raising the floor. Yeah. 
raising the floor, concrete floor. Sure, I am I doing the video? <laughs> <laughs> just, just let you take on that. This is going to be a hay shed, and over there will be four more stables looking over this way. Although that could well change because to get the best use out of the space, we might do something else. This is probably going to change a million times before we actually set in stone what we're going to do because uh, the four stables are there. So we could actually open up each stable at the back and have this as um, a bigger space that they can go into. And the same with this one. So they can open up into that and they can have a little run around, you know, in the winter time and that when they won't be getting out as much. Although there's plenty of land here, so there shouldn't be an issue with that. But just it just broke a bit of timber. But just in case that they're not getting out as much, um, that'd be a grand little space for them. Or even if you have a couple of mirror folds that you want to keep in the same a big box, that'd be fine for them. It's quite big, isn't it? That's Eric's state of the art um tractor. That he's very very in love with it. Well, Sam's going to learn how to drive one. Yeah, Sam's going to learn how to drive in it. My arse he is. He's going to learn how to drive in a Range Rover. <laughs> <laughs> the other sheds. As you can see there, there's a long little line of sheds. There is one, two, three, four, five in total. They have a round roof on them. This is kind of the courtyard end of the yard. See, it's open down that end. And then there's sheds all round. Then there is the old milking parlour and what is now the taxi. So there's five sheds over here. We need to raise the roof on all of them. And the structure of it's not too bad, but the roof needs to be raised and electric needs to be done. And can you see how many ponies we can fit in these? Loads. Well, one of them is going to be picked up for the pigs and the end one is for the chickens at the minute because there's a hole in the wall that we let them out on the other side. So that's their inside bit. And at the minute, the pigs are in that shed there. And then they go out into the crush during the day. And then that's... Yeah. Yeah. That's, that, that blew off last. The last time. That blew off. Yeah. That has to be done as well. This is another shed. If Eric could get out of the old way. Old silos pit. An old silos pit. Used to be the old silos pit. Can yeah. you see Tom Tom over there as well? Look, Tom Tom and Gigi. Hedy. Let's say hello to them for a minute. Tom. Anyway, that is another shed. We don't really have a purpose for that one yet. But the roof's actually not the worst it's on that. Yeah. So that shed was um, blown down last year in Storm Ophelia, I think it was. And um, yeah, luckily there was no animals. So we don't have cattle here anyway. So there wasn't going to be any animals in it. Because there's, um, what do you call them? Cubicles. Cubicles. In them as well. So you won't be putting ponies in it. Then we have this shed, which is the old milking parlour. There was, you know, in an old milking parlour where there's a little dip down for you to walk down underneath. Pit. For a, what? A pit. A pit. I've been informed. Sam, don't be looking at the camera. Um, uh, but we blocked in the floor, we filled in the floor because we were going to use it as um, a big thing for the mare and fall to run around. And then we had to empty the house. So wait till I show you what it's like now. It doesn't resemble a big box anyway. It resembles a car boot sale shed type thing. Cats live. And it's full of furniture from the house. Yeah, and an old haylage bag that we really need to get rid of. Yeah, it's full of shit really full of shit actually there's my antiques are there as well two best roof chairs. in the place yeah it has the best roof in the place good you can probably see over there where we blocked in the holes in the ground and we feel like for a mirror and fold because it's well or for a ho any horse because right next door to spend too much time here now this is the tack room it is a mess we will be doing another video where we go through and clean out this because when I got pregnant and since having Sam, it has fallen into dilapidation because there is a man looking after the cleanliness of it. <laughs> so it normally didn't I'm look... I'm new to horses. It normally didn't look this bad, but holy divine Jesus, it is horrific. And of course, we have the best supplement that one can buy. It's Equisolve. This is where the real magic You can see happens. in here there's an awful lot of furniture. This is all out of the house as well. This is actually not. This is from my boss, but I'm probably going to clean that up, recycle it, upcycle it, and maybe put it back in the house. Although one of the cats did take a big massive dump in the back of it. So that's not nice. But that's the top of that dresser. That needs to be got rid of. It just, this just needs to be cleaned up. It's actually not too bad. And you need to hang more racks and stuff. And it there is, it's leaking. <laughs> like what in this place is not leaking? But yeah, there's water running in through here. We need to fix the door on it because Eric put his boot through it when he was a little lad. <laughs> <laughs> it was a football. 
and yeah and we needed somewhere new to put the cats because the cats are overrunning this place that's Shite a tom never. tom 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 he's actually not too bad it's the other little yoke that's a terror that keeps shiting everywhere by the litter box this is oliver and um charlie who we've probably yeah, met the other course. sheds at the back of these ones as well but um it's not really interesting in them there's machinery, in them. machinery in them but um yeah these sheds are the inside of them isn't too bad structurally but they like eric nearly fried themselves the other day trying to turn on that switch up there so the electricals wouldn't be too sound in them but um yeah they just need to be raised the roof from them um because look daylight's coming in all over the shop that's not really what you want for can you hear the pigs in the background do you think it's dinner time it's not dinner time no um and then there's a tarp shed but you know what i need to, to see a tarp shed <laughs> that is all the roofs need to be done the roof on the house is just it's just all right <laughs> so yeah plenty of work plenty of money needed donations are welcomed send them all my way some of the old sheds so i will be keeping that wall and we'll be building on to that because there is hardcore out here and we have three summer paddocks here um so yeah there will be more kind of lean to type things out here so the horses have somewhere better and that they to stay during the summer and that they like probably feeding stations and that but um yeah there's so many ideas so little time there's so little time but so many ideas yeah. this race has just so much potential and yeah can't wait to see it all come into reality one day eric's just given the two horses a little bit of lunch because it is sunday that's why he's here he doesn't just skive off the whole time he does have a job sometimes lel what do you do drive diggers he drives diggers so that's why he's handy he actually did this little moundy thing i can put in a clip of what that looked like before but that's where we kind of have a little um made and do um cross country course that Eric put in so he dug it all out leveled it flattened it and put a few logs up there but it's kind of lacky ground in it so we probably need to change the ground in it and then it'll just do as a make do um cross country course. <laughs> the reclamation work on these fields if i can find a photo or a video of what that looked like i will Fucking horrendous. Probably shouldn't be swearing on YouTube or try and buzz, buzz that word out of there. So yeah, and then there's the entrance. Little tiny laneway. And yeah, that's kind of all the sheds. I'll show you where the chickens live. So they are in the end of that shed. We made a hole in the wall. <laughs> in the wall so they have their little outside run there and then we can open the door there i don't know why i put the seat there but you can open the door then and they can run around the front garden here then i have a little green patch over there that didn't really happen very well this year because i was heavily pregnant but it hopefully will come back next year and then there's a little area there that's all rough it's not grass it's not garden it's not field so i'm going to be planting trees there because there is an awful lot of mature trees here and I love them just want to put more in and then it'll just provide more shelter for the field over here so that needs I'm going to plant them so, <coughs> see there's trees all down the driveway and during the summertime it actually looks lovely but now that we're in autumn <coughs> they are losing their leaves obviously there is Star waiting on our lunch isn't it such a life out here I'm telling you 
glorious. Anyway, that's kind of most of the yard. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Stick around for more. Next week we'll be doing a house tour. And that's not to be missed because it is a disgrace from inside out. But um, hopefully in a year's time some things will be different. Um, so yeah, no judgement. It will be a labour of love for the both of us and a lot of hard work, time and effort and money. We'll have to, there is a sheepskin on the line. I did try and wash that. Um, word to the wise, sheepskins are not going to the washing machine. They, they don't turn out well after it. So yeah, I'm going to leave the vlog here. Next week's video will be a house tour. Not to be missed. Not to be missed. Say goodbye. Why? Why? Why?